The Ministry of Gender and Social Development is set to roll out initiatives to prioritize women's economic empowerment. According to Angela Nakafero, the Commissioner for Gender and Women Affairs, some of the initiatives include reduction of unpaid work, improvement of financial inclusion, among others. Unpaid care work is uh, once we have institutions and facilities for looking after our children, mothers and girls will have more time to participate in productive activities. Some of the other acts to be reviewed include the Employment Act, called to provide an environment that can promote gender equality. It's not only a matter of affirmative action for women and girls, it will touch other elements on the rights of the employees, but also on the right of the employers and the obligations in between. The Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development has urged women to make bold investments that will help them in earning an extra income that will enable achieve economic empowerment. Yes, we earn the salaries on a monthly basis, but how much are we able to save? How much are we reinvesting to earn extra income in the next years? We recommended that 60% in the leadership of this group should be women if a group is for both women and men. In a related development, stakeholders want government to support the Uganda Women's Entrepreneurship Programs through COVID-19 recovery grants or cash transfers to restart their businesses or pay their outstanding loans. Nobat Atkunda, NTV News.